So we are now in the last part of our meeting for mutual peace engagement. Engagement means also we have to do something. We cannot just sit around. We are, today we were sitting around, we had talks. But finally, these talks must go further and it must be not only an action plan, it must become action. And here are some suggestions for long-term peace enhancement. It is clear that the Zelensky, you know, the suggestion on Birkenstock, uh, the Zelensky says uh, all the lands has to go back to me and uh, I want to become the king of Ukraine. Now is a bit, you know, it's already late. So <laughs> I had a lot of tea and coffee. So <laughs> anyway, it needs some humor also in these uh, tragic times. And now... We some suggestions are here and I would like to hear what are your opinions. Uh, what can we go out? Uh, ca what, what can we suggest as action plan and s how can we also start to become active in our daily life? Now, Ralph Bossart, you turn. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> well, I think uh, points four and eight, they are closely interlinked. While it is true that we need a new economic, uh, economic and monetary system, uh, I have to say that we probably can't wait for a new system to be implemented. I'm, I'm not saying we are standing on the threshold of a nuclear war. Not yet. But uh, it seems to me it's, it's around the corner. Um, so we, we, we haven't got the time. On the other hand side, and first of all, as Europeans, I think we have to become much more humble than we used to be uh, so far. The conflict in and around Ukraine since 2014 tells me that the Europeans are unable to sort out the problems on their own continent. But... That doesn't prevent them from traveling around the world and telling everybody else how conflicts have to be uh, sorted out. And I think that has to stop. We have to start respecting the Global South. The Global South in this situation understands that it is the right moment to uh, make themselves understood, to... have more influence on, on, on global politics and uh, we have to talk to these people uh, on, on, the same, on the same level um, and this includes not only Asia, the developing uh, countries of Asia and Africa, it, uh, this applies to Eastern Europe and uh, the northern part of the Asian uh, continent uh, as well. We must understand that these countries are very well prepared and the governments are very well, well prepared to follow the interests of their countries and uh, their populations. And uh, I, I hope that rather soon we will come to a system that takes the interests of these peoples and these countries into account as well. So as Europeans and Americans, we have to understand that the new great American century that they were dreaming of since 1991 is over. We have to accept that uh, and we have to come to terms with uh, the global south in, in general. The quicker we do, the safer we are. I think we can uh, complete this uh, this list with a wish or uh, or a message. Uh, maybe our politicians, uh, our MPs, and every uh, parliament uh, for them is doesn't allow um, to be um, to work for um, for direct for companies like uh, Rheinmetall for. Or, or also for, um, uh, yeah, wie sagt man das? Das ist einfach für, für ganze Waffenindustrie, also auch für die Lobbyorganisationen. Where, 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 where
Yeah, no, I, um, we have a political, we have our uh, people in government and they uh, they should be bonnet of uh, of the of the organization and then maybe you know um, a UN organization type UNRWA may be complete we need under UN um, a roof a new organization that uh, can be maybe mm, um, uh, Katastrophenschutz um, in uh, upgrades this organization um, uh, um, they should get uh, access to the to the war uh, after war um, uh, i mean places yeah to to improve the life of people they are suffering look at gaza now look at gaza i mean uh, i can't look at news every 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 day just because uh, killing of people and suffering of people uh, goes on and we sit around our TV, uh, uh, yeah, apparatus and watching. Um, maybe uh, this uh, care side to improve this on international level. Um, I think many of these, or maybe even all of these things we want uh, to be banned are already banned. For example, to ruin Russia is not legal. It's illegal under international law sanctions the same way or propaganda must be banned uh, there are in germany at least i know there are uh, laws uh, that bind the media to the truth uh, and to objectivity and to um vielfalt i don't know diversity diversity thank you so everything has been written down already and and people don't uh, stick to it so i think the best way is Two ways, uh, telling it everybody who is interested in my neighbors, public uh, conferences like that, all the spectators in the Internet, and they have to spread the idea that we have to go to come back to democracy because it, it's written in the in the United Nations Charter. It's written in the German Grundgesetz, in the uh, uh, legal, uh, in, in, in the... Um, Criminal uh, law, in, it's, it's written everywhere. So maybe we have to do the same like in Corona or, or after Corona, where people selected the proof of people who did uh, the lies uh, deliberately and now accuse these people, you did it deliberately, that you were not wrong. You did it deliberately, so you have to be accused and to bring it to the uh, Staatsanwalt, attorney or prosecutor. Thank you to give it to the prosecutor. And if there are a lot of uh, demands for prosecuting um, murder and uh, and wrong media, um, it's it's. Under punishment in Germany, Volksverhetzung. I don't know whether it's uh, illegal in, in Switzerland also, but I think it is. So if we make clear that it is illegal and we will wait until all people are punished for that who uh, got guilty, then they have fear. And that is what they are doing with us. They want us to have fear, but we must not have fear. We just uh, want that the law is uh, fulfilled and they want to break the law so uh, to be in favor of the law is not dangerous but to uh, stand for wars on aggression for mass killings for like in palestine that the people die from hunger now that's illegal and 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 that's uh, for the rest of their lives a danger to them. Thank you. Alia, I always like uh, Mr. Gagne's big pictures. I wouldn't <laughs> got him known if this corona uh, wouldn't happen. But uh, I like to stay on a small scale, I believe, on the subsidiarities. So it starts on the commun community. If there's something goes wrong, you have to stand up as you did we in the in the German army and then it goes to the cantons and finally 
to the federal government, and then I agree with you as well, you have to take them responsible, and not let them get away. Because uh, some guys now, old uh, members of the parliament, say, ah, it, it, they did the best and all that, the excuses for me are just excuses. They know what they did, they got the information, and they have to take accountable and bring them in front of the judge and uh, get them finally to prison. Or even I, I, I figured it out in Rwanda, in prison these guys are, will cost us taxpayer again. Just put them back to social work like they do every second Saturday in, uh, in Kigali. You have to fix all that social stuff, clean the streets and all that. So everyone knows these guys went against humanity uh, rules and they um, uh, made the, all the splitting and all that stuff. For me, uh, that's the, the way for a solution. Thank you. I, I want to add, uh, for me, the main criminal in the Ukraine war is Boris Johnson, because there would have been peace. And uh, if you, as a, the, the, the main criminal to continue the war, the, for breaking out, it's the Ukraine and Russians, but we would have ended the war. And the one who did not end is Boris Johnson, because he intervented and said, uh, you uh, must continue because the West is not ready for peace. Hmm. So I think that is criminal, because that costs hundreds or uh, thousands or hundreds of thousands of people their lives. And you should prosecute people like him who um, prevented peace. And maybe we have to add only little things in our law. For example, that spreading lies is like spreading false money and is punished because maybe there are some gaps in the law, but uh, we know that there are people who wage the wars. For example, the the um, Iraq war is very clear that's Bush, and, and nobody can say that's not true. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think also we should we should really uh, go back to the to the law. Uh, I think we mentioned before the the uh, rules based order, which is overwhelming us. We have to get away from it, and whenever we can, push the real law through and make sure that the people understand that the rules based order is not sorry, is not legal, and that we have to go back to the laws. That's 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 one thing that we we can do. That's something we can do whenever we talk with with people, with neighbors, with colleagues, with friends, or have speeches and so on. The other thing is, uh, and it has been often mentioned, especially in the non-mainstream media, they're talking about uh, Nuremberg 2.0. Okay, and I think this is a this is a reality which we could which we should promote. And comes back to your point, you know to find those who are really responsible for it, not those who followed orders necessarily in the first place. I think this was a little bit maybe the the mistake of Nuremberg I, that, uh, that those who followed orders uh, were punished and not necessarily those who really were behind these orders. But now we know, now we know who is behind these orders. We know, for example, that Klaus Schwab, yes, he is responsible but behind him, there are the, the, the forces of the pharmaceuticals and particularly BlackRock. Particularly the financial body is behind him. So these people have to be uh, made accountable. And, uh, and, and Boris Johnson, I fully agree. You know, with the, his, uh, his uh, objection to the peace agreement in, in Istanbul caused probably uh, millions of lives, uh, could, could very well be, you know. So these these are points, and then an, another one which I think I think about it a lot is <clears throat> a bit what Greece has done, and some 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 parts of Spain have done during the two thousand and eight to ten crisis. They have set up uh, local communities, you know, local production for local consumption, with even with local money, and have created local banks. And uh, we can do that. Uh, we can do that on a on a on a small basis and expand it as people and other communities join in and become more and more independent. It's maybe it looks like complicated, but maybe it's not that complicated because if we really 
are convinced and are on another level, not on the level of vengeance and of hate, but on the level of, of becoming free, free of the system and becoming independent and sovereign personalities, sovereign uh, communities and sovereign uh, societies that work together, I think it is, it is feasible. It's a thought that I have had uh, many, many years, probably once inspired by Schumacher Small is beautiful. Uh, and I think this is today maybe more valid than it ever was. And uh, it could give us a new venue of becoming a new society. Because breaking out of this is not easy. We have, of course, all these points, and there are, there are many others uh, that we can uh, think about. But I think we also have to think about the alternative of becoming, uh, again, independent. Uh, that's it for now, what I have to say. But I think one point more that we have to add, whatever we agree on, is follow-up. Not let it stand. Have the next meeting planned and see where we're going so that it's not going to go just down the river. Thank you. I made some notes and um, I have uh, an instrument. Uh, I think we have already too many laws and these too many laws are not put into action. They are, for example, the law that it is prohibited to make a war propaganda, but there is no sanction for it, yes? So that's the point. And the second point is uh, if the decision makers, you know, who know everything better, they go to the World Economic Forum, they, they go to the Bilderberg meeting and so on, and they say, what is good for us? For example, if uh, they say you will own nothing and you will be happy, then my suggestion is, Mr. Schwab and Mrs. Hilde Schwab, you have an tiny house and you give the billions to um, let's say to Niger Niger now who is uh, the new guidance of Niger has when uh, Mrs. Newland came uh, and say uh, we will we will cancel the money of US aid uh, if not the ancient president will be put back then the new president said you can go home and you look in New York and so on. There are so many sleeping people on the streets. You just put your mess there in order. So it was a set, such a strong, uh, even though they have plenty of debts and, and they had some uh, courageous, and I think we can get inspired from these people. So Mrs. and Mr. Schwab, you just have this tiny house. We make a fence off. We can. We will. So, we will uh, offer you the fence around you that you are protected. And we come in the weekend. We can look how happy you are. If you are not so happy, we will uh, send some bats on the other side of the fence. You just start. Or the people who say, you know, uh, the CO two is the biggest issue. Okay, you don't go to the next climate conference. You go by boat or your rowboat or whatever. You don't take your leadership. I mean, we have to put the people. The church is the same, you know, I went to the churches uh, to distrib distribute the flyers uh, and, and they say, you always have the last word. These priests are not uh, used that you have that you are uh, discussing with them because they are standing on top and they think that there is never a discussion in a church. Have you ever happened a discussion in a church? There is no discussion, so the priest is always right. And I think we have Sunday morning, imagine... Uh, the priest says, yeah, go in peace and say, what are you doing from Monday to Saturday? You invest in pension fund. You are exactly doing the opposite. You are not uh, reliable. You're just lying to us. You are not living what you are preaching. I had so many discussions with priests, and I think this could be a first step that we say, you say something, do it. And, for example, the, the Geneva Protocols, you know, the Geneva um uh, climate protocols from 2015. There are five points which are excluded. Yes, the behavior of the super rich is not included. War, military is not included. The worst for climate and 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 uh, environment is not included. Then the flight industry is not included. The the sea uh, ship ship is not included. The very bad uh, environmental issue and geoengineering 
geoengineering is ex excluded, excluded also. We just turn it around and say, these five points we want to see before we don't want any measure for S. Yes? Other point, um, the Bank for International Settlement, they were, this is a Nazi bank and they never uh, went accountable. So logically they continue what they are doing. Yeah? If a child, if, if the father says to the child, you have to wash the hands before you eat and the father is not doing, every child sees that something is wrong here. Why are we accepting that these people on top, who believe they are on top, actually they are our servants, we pay them, we are the actioners, we are, uh, how do you say, actionaire? Shareholders. We are the shareholders of uh, the, these people in parliament. Yes, so they have to do what we want. But sometimes they don't understand that. And I think Nuremberg 2, Nuremberg 1 uh, was a catastrophe because the Red Cross, uh, to thousands of, of people, they, they helped to escape, including Mengele. And now we see that we have Mengele 2. The last four years was Mengele 2. Yes, even worse. So if, we, if there is no uh, restrict, if there is no accountability, for us, there is accountability. My wife uh, drives uh, one kilometer too much, 40 francs she has to pay. There is accountability for the small people. And you said it right, small is beautiful, but big is subsidized. Too big to, I'm not too big to fail, yeah? Why not? Why am I not too big to fail? Only Mr. Ermotti is too big to fail. No, we, we should not accept this. So I really uh, want to address me to the civil society we have to take hands together <laughs> and 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 strengthen our, we are the majority and if we understand this and we don't allow the others to say you are left you are right yes i have a left and a right hand no problem but if i'm right then i am right it's better than i'm not right yeah so i try to be right yes so i'm following the the, the path of truth and not the path of lies and what we have seen today is there's plenty of lies and these plenty of lies are creating so much suffering. And if we try to, to further and to support empathy, compassion, you know, then even if it's far away, there are one billion people. If you go sleeping this evening, there are one billion people. One billion people, they don't have enough food. We go eating afterwards, but they don't have enough food. If we can develop this kind of compassion, then it's clear that there, the gap between uh, north and south, east and west will, will be reduced. And we must be part of it. If you have a pension fund, for example, if you're in a company with pension fund, you have to discuss this issue. Yes? So it's not easy, and that's why it is... It is said we are a mutual peace engagement group. It needs engagement, engagement. Without the engagement, no way. And uh, sometimes you can convince these people. For example, the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, the newspaper in Germany, uh, had the chief who said, I was wrong. I fought the wrong enemy. And... Um, Frank Schirmacher was his name, and uh, he made public that the newspapers don't report uh, objectively, but that they fight against the people, they fight against our minds. And there are other people who can you, you can convince, uh, also former generals uh, like Harald Kujat and so on. Uh, but we have to know that not all of these, or, or only some we, you can convince. For example, you will not be able to convince uh, Frau von der Leyen because she learned when she was a child, she learned terrorism. Uh, maybe you know the, uh, her father, uh, Albrecht in Niedersachsen. He uh, bombarded a jail uh, put a hole into the trail and said that was the left-wing uh, terrorists. So she learned how to get voters by lying, by framing, uh, which obviously was not true, nothing was true, but she learned that works. 
And if you learn that as a child, then maybe you never will say that was wrong. The same in uh, Bologna with uh, Gladio can everyone find in in the in the uh, internet, for example, with uh, Dr. Daniele Ganza. These people you will not convince, but many other people we can convince, and they uh, will change their minds. Thank you. Okay, some other points. Good. So if there is no more, um, maybe we have to dream this night also, you know, to, to digest this day and to see how can we become part of the solution, as Mahatma Gandhi said, be the, be the change you want to see in the world. I think we can just uh, um, finish this round. I would like to say thank you to everyone who participated here. As I'm so glad that it worked also technically. Uh, I'm very grateful to the camera teams. They did so good work, I'm sure. And that you all came here to this high altitude <laughs> is uh, wonderful. So I will remember this day, I'm quite sure, for a long time. And if you are agree, we can end this day official part if you agree thank you very much <laughs>